distractions has caused a lot of or massive loss in productive. Distraction can make you not to be productive. A lot of people have already missed their value and their productivity via distraction. Most of us pay so much attention to what doesn't really add value to us. Okay? My name is Mrs. Fevor Ime Orumbasi. I am that's your number one family global therapist. I know who I am. You don't need to doubt about it. Even if you doubt, I know who I am. Please do well to let me know if you are having challenges in any certain area, be it marriage or personal issues, that you don't need to, you don't know how to sort yourself out and you don't know whom to disclose those things to. That's why you need a family, family therapist. Okay? Please do wait to call my attention or call me to let me know. So many people are making good advantage of me. Call me on this number. 080-39-32-2035. Do you know the three things I will do for you? I will counsel you. I will advise you. Also pray with you. Before you know it, you will definitely come out of that your shallow stage and become a better person. Yes. I want to let you know what distractions can do in someone's destiny and future. What distraction can cause if not well handled in your vision or your pursuit. We pay more attention to our outside than our instincts. Most people pay more attention to what people are saying concerning them instead of what they are themselves. Instead of sitting back, discovering whom they are by themselves. Most times, they allow people to discover who they are for them. Perhaps detecting for them, pushing them to do something. At the end, you might definitely realize that what they push you into is not part of you. Is it a net? That is what we call distraction. Knowing what you ought to do, but pushing them aside, fails doing it, then distraction. What has distraction cost you in your pursuit, in your vision? What do you think that distraction has cost you? Do you know that you have lost a lot? You have missed opportunities. We have been allowed people distracting you. Today, I want to give you a way out. How you can live above people distracting you. Or live above you even distracting yourself. Yes. You can even distract yourself. And you can also allow people to distract you. Thereby losing focus. you achieve this one you need to have Holy Spirit in you you say he said he teach us all things and bring things to our remembrance Holy Ghost should be your senior partner your teacher you should pay so much attention and take your ears to what they taught 
and there was the voice of the Holy Spirit. If you don't want to get easily distracted by the things around you, you need to walk with the Holy Spirit. When you fail to do that, you will miss a lot. You will then tend to make a lot of mistakes that you can apparently regret. So you need Holy Spirit. Your teacher. Your advisor. Even if you get advice from people, you go back to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, what are you saying concerning this? That small still voice will speak to you if you think to him. We are a lot of noise all over that makes us to be distracted by so many things. When you bring Holy Spirit in you, it will definitely help you to live above distraction. When you know focus, see, it's only when you know where you are going to and focus, put your target and your eyes towards where you are going to, you can never miss it. But when you don't know where you are, or you know where you are going to, but you allow people to to detect for you, to advise you wrongly, you can't get to your destination. But who will help you to know the truth? It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit, the bus teacher. See, if you don't have Holy Spirit in you, you are missing a lot. You are missing a lot. Yes, number two, put yourself in what distraction free mode. When you might have got the Holy Spirit, try to put yourself in distraction free mode where nobody will distract you. You pay so much attention to what you want, yes, and focus on it. When I think develop these habits that will help you eliminate distraction, develop a habit that will help you to eliminate what distraction. Get yourself so busy. Have these habits in you that will help you to eliminate distraction and be focused. Yes, it's possible. Distractive, I call it distractive free mode. Set boundaries. Know what you listen to. Know what you pay attention to. See, so you have instinct in you. If you have, you have something inside you. When you see people. You know, you know, sometimes they say by their fruits we shall know them. But most times by their thoughts and their communication, by their words, you will know them. When somebody talks, you know where the person is going to. And the angle the person is coming from. When you open your mouth to talk to me, I will know where you are going to. If the words proceeded out of your mouth is not healthy enough, if it will not help me, definitely the instant that I will delete that your voice. That your statement, I will never make use of it. Because I will never allow it to get inside me to germinate and bear wrong fruit. I will never allow that your thoughts. There are people that will come around you. Make sure once they make one silly mistake, you see that you will be distracted. Before you, if you don't have yourself together, before you recover from that, one statement alone can destabilize you. They can even change your aspect, perspective towards another person. Thoughts. 
emotions. So it's time for you to gather yourself. Know what you want. And do not allow people to distract you. Even challenges of life. Do not allow challenges of life. What you are facing right now to distract you. See, you can never have challenging what free time. Definitely so long as you are living, you will be facing challenges. When you allow it to distract you, it will cause harm to you. And I don't know. What makes you a failure is when you fail and remain where you failed. But when you fail and get up immediately and recover yourself, dust yourself and push your life forward, nobody on earth will ever call you a failure. Shun distraction and focus. Number three, set three major, major strategy. Know each day, write at least three things you want to achieve. Yes, write them down. Write them where you can see them. Write them on, on, on where you can see them and read it. Three objectives you must achieve every day. When you write it down, you will implement it. What is written is written. When you the thought of distraction comes, or when or if it's by coming in human form comes, you remember ah, I have my goal, I have targets, I have objectives I need to achieve for today. You go back to where you wrote it. I said, no, I must set targets for yourself. Strategize things, objectives. At least three a day that you must achieve. And discipline yourself so well towards achieving them. Don't just write and keep it there. Discipline yourself towards achieving those goals. Post the where you can see strategic place. Where you can see them. See those things you lose. Let them be facing you and be talking to you. Those things you write down, you wrote down. Post them. Do not be distracted any longer. No time. Oh. Check your time. Check your age. No time. Each day you are not the same. No time. Do not allow people to distract you. Do not allow people to talk nonsense into your ears. Do not even allow challenges of life to, to destroy you. You see, this month, definitely people must talk. My mentor told me this week, week, last past weekend. He said, there is no better position in our mouths that makes Better that can make somebody not, you know, when you are, I don't know how she puts that, I, I can remember, I, I will remember. He said, there is no meter, so people must talk. Is he talking? That this mouth is for talking. Because there is no meter. You know, like Nepal Bill, the way you are, as you are using your lights, meter will be reading it. So there is no meter that reads what people talk for them to pay back. So they must talk. I didn't think there is meter that the position in people's mouth as they are talking, the meter will be reading what they are saying. At the end, you pay for it. People will not talk much. <laughs> oh, mommy, daddy. People will not talk much. You see, there is no meter. So, do not shut people's talk, thoughts. Forget about what they are saying. Know what your inner spirit tells you and do it. Yes, a lot of distractions everywhere. Do you know people to the point that people tend to live another person's life? They will live their own life and be living another person's life to please people. 
you displease yourself, please stand other people. Ah, let them not say that I am with her. Let them not say that I like her. Let them not say. You now live your life and live in another person's life. Let them not see me with this person, no. Let them not see me going closer to this person and say, you live your own life and believe in another person's life. You can't you see that you are being really distracted? You live the vital things you're supposed to do in life and be following another person that you don't even know when God created the person. The motto of your life, you cannot ride it. You are riding another person's motto, life motto. Can't you see you're missing it? Go in there, discover whom you are. When you discover whom you are, you will remain focused. You won't be distracted. You can't live another person's life. That person has his own life. I have my own life to live. Me, I mean, stand up and live your life. You're not a king. Why are you behaving like a king? Stand up and live your life. Yes. Stand up and live your life. Live your life. No time. No time at all. No time. And they give most people they think again, looking at what people will say. What, 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 what will you do with people's opinion? When you know that you are doing the right thing, what are you doing with people's opinion for crying out loud? Round. What are you doing with people's opinions? You know that what you know what you want, and you are doing what you want. And you know that what you are doing is right. What do you need people's opinion for? Are you a kid? That person, does he go to a toilet for you? If you want to use the restroom, is it the person that goes to the toilet for you? Even if it's the person that feeds you, the person, there are things that people cannot do for you. You will do it by yourself. So tend to live your own life. Fake life. And stop living fake life. People are living photocopied life. What I call photocopied life. And that is why they are being distracted. Photocopied. You are copying another person. You are busy copying another person. Photocopied life. You can't live your own life. You don't have life. You don't have a life to live. You are living another person's life. Ah, let them not sell. Let them not feel. Low. As in, uh, uh, your people's feelings, knowing that you are doing the right thing, let them not say, let them not do, let them not think of, ah, uh, photocopied life. Live your life. Let people know what you are doing. Let them know you as this standard. Yes. Don't be distracted. Stop living another person's life. That is what I'm saying. When you get to live another person's life, when you try to live another person's life, definitely you must be distracted. You can't remain focused. It is not possible for you to remain focused when you are living another when you are living another person's life. Number one, family global thera therapist. I am the one talking. Number three, monitor your mind wanderings. My beloved, guide what enters this heart of your mind. Your mind is the engine of your life. What goes in and what goes out matters a lot. Even the Bible said it. Out of abundance of heart, the heart is the mention of your life. Monitor your mind wanders. What you think matters a lot. Do you know there is a way your your thoughts can definitely affect prolonged thoughts as I studied can definitely most surely affect your emotions. Huh? Yes. Your emotions, your 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 act 
attitude, your character, your wrong thoughts, what you think will certainly affect your emotions. Emotions, your character. So mind what, monitor what enters your mind. This vital key can distract you. What is your thoughts like? What do you think? Monitor your mind wandering. What, what is your thoughts? What, what do you think per time? Do you know as the Bible says, as the man think yet, so is he. You are a product of your thoughts. You can never be far from your thoughts. Yes. You can never be far from your thoughts. If you are the type that likes following after married men, do you know you can never, your thoughts will not leave that circle of, that circle. You will always be thinking, which man will I go to this week? How can I pull this man down? How can I attract this man to myself? Your thoughts can never leave thy cycle. Yes. That is what enters you. You can never think above that. A big distraction. But when your thoughts is positive, thinking how you can affect life, how can you how you can leave a footprint? How can your generation rise? Definitely your attention, 100 percent attention and your thoughts will go towards that. You will be thinking on how to do that, achieve that task. So as a man think yes, so is it. If you are the one that thinks how to harm someone, you can you must only be limited in that cycle. You cannot think above that cycle. Thoughts. You cannot think above that cycle. Thoughts can is destructive. What goes in here? And goes out matters a lot. So know what you think. It can affect your emotion and your attitude will display it. So with these few points of mind today, I hope your number one family global therapist is able to educate you. Please do not allow people to distract you. Know whom you are. Know whom you are. Do not allow people to define you. Know the you, the you. Shun living another person's life. You know I love you so much. My followers, Please, I can't end this video without letting you know that I love you. Please do well to extend the love by sharing, comment and like the video. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. Miss you guys. You'll be seeing me often. Mm. Mm.